but now I skate for Team Florida. Um, I also am trained personally every day by Jorge Patero. He's a Colombian world champion. Uh, so he's my trainer and also my dad. My dad is also a big help. He's my coach, trainer, motivator, the whole nine yards. <laughs> that? There you go. All right, get your skates up. Go back. Come on. You can do better now. <laughs> Why is it behind me? I like, I like my view. <laughs> I'm messing up. Oh. Let's go. Hips forward, shoulders He's back. Up. Drive them through, turn them out. Nice. Nice work, Lydia. Relax. Now go. He's higher. I think for me, Take your time. what I went through is when I was 12 and 13, people would tell me, you know, I'm too, it would take me a long time or it would take me at least this amount of years or that amount of years. And me and my dad didn't listen. Me and my dad, um, we didn't know how to skate at all. And my dad learned and we read books and we just read and he taught me without ever touching skates at all in his life. So I think that goes to show that if, if you're up and coming and if you can't do this so fast or somebody's doing this and you can't get it, just don't, don't stop. Never, never quit. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Never, never quit. Always get up, keep trying. And if you can get up, then just never give up. Aubrey's next. 
Maria. Keep it in front of me. Keep it in front of me. Cross over. There you go. Slow down. Yeah. Mira, pa lado. Here. There you go. Cross over. That a girl. Just like that. Good, Maria. That a girl. Hey, get over with us. Aaron, get over here. Good, Maria. Good. Step over. Get your cool down. That a girl. Maria. Because I remember growing up, I would look at, I would watch Worlds and I watch other big championships, and I just wonder why people would celebrate so much. And I think the the most powerful feeling is achieving something that you've worked so hard for. And I started skating when I was 13, and I'm 17, and I'm the best in the world, and it's the best feeling in the world, just to know that all the work you put in from five o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock at night, that it totally paid off. And I'm blessed to have taken the time to, you know, feel what it feels like to be a world champion. Step two. Oh, hold yes. on. All eyes should be on me. Today's a very special day. We've been waiting for a while. Okay? You guys are in luck. Believe me when I tell you. Alright? Not only do we got the world champion in the house. We have another world team member who made an appearance, Danielle Rio. Right? All right. So we're gonna do some skating. We're gonna have some food. We're gonna do autographs. We're gonna take pictures. Mr. Sabian is the world champion. I don't know if you guys have seen all the posts. I will repost his hundred meters on there because I love his reaction. That's the best thing. Reaction. Pure bliss. All those hours, I can be getting goosebumps. All those, because I was there. All those hours, all those early mornings, you guys, and I'm serious, it's a heart attack. All those bike rides in the hills, all that motor pacing, 
I mean, I could go on and on, all right? But unless you put that to use, you'll never be a world champion, okay? He, I saw things in that race that we worked on from day one. When he moved their whole family, Miss Stephanie's over there as mom, guys. Miss Stephanie Tinson's over there. They actually moved from Georgia. They actually uprooted their whole family to move from Georgia to come down to Florida to skate with us. Well, how old were you? 14. 14? And he's 17 now? All right. So they actually uprooted some sacrifices. I talk about sacrifices. Sacri I mean, you don't get accomplishments unless you do sacrifices. All right? Uh, kids, you should be listening. You shouldn't be turned around. You should be listening to me, every word. Okay, I should be on me, not your parents. You see them all the time. All right? All the little things that I remember instilling in this young man, I saw in that 100 meters. Mainly what we talk about, reaction what? And that's what he did. When you see this film, how many have seen the 100 meter film? Casey, a few of you? All right? And I'll be damned if those Colombian referees weren't going to call him back because they <laughs> said for sure, and I wasn't there, but I saw it, that he jumped. And he did not jump. He reacted and exploded. And the guy was sitting there and it was all over. But I want you guys to watch that video and just watch the intensity and the joy from all the work that this young man put in. Now, I'm going to get to this one a little bit. This young lady, okay, how old? Uh, 16. How old were you when you came to me? Oh, like 10, 11, yeah. 10 maybe? Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't step a lick. Not one. Had plastic skates. We skated like this. And I held her hand starting out. Okay? Another one that sacrificed. Bike rides, exercises. Made me proud. Went to Columbia. They asked her to demonstrate the exercises because of her technique. Okay? So you guys are lucky. We got another world team member in here. All right. Okay, take advantage of it. All right, respect. There's a lot of you, only two of them. They'll answer any of your questions. Miss Stephanie's got the t-shirts for sale over there. A lot of other stuff. Okay, make sure we get those. Sabian will sign them later on. We got a picture booth over there with the world championship jersey and the USA jersey. Then we're going to have pictures with you guys and he'll be able to sign everything. We're gonna do a little practicing first, all right? Back out and warm up for a couple minutes, let's go. Maybe you're starting to get this.
Hey, Mark. Look ahead. Wait for the whistle. Set. And go, go. Run, run, Marie. I'm trying to track him. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm hoping you just go to play basketball. Yes, sir. Did you look behind you? No. Because for me, it's, it's all about the kids. Even my mom will tell you, anywhere we go, if there's a kid, I most likely deal with them perfectly fine. And it's all about the younger generation. They're, they're what drives the sport. So you have to keep the sport alive. You have to keep the young, the young ones interested in the sport. And if that's watching me or coming to a meet just to watch me, that's, that's fine with me. But, but I, I fell into the finals. It's the thought that counts. The first fall ripped one it's uniform. And then the second fall ripped Another uniform really bad because I hit my face. So I kind of did like a fourth one almost. <laughs> but, yeah. And then the other one is kind of, yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's it a long trip to say that. I like your side. Do you like my side? Don't get in the paint. Mabel. It is Mabel. wet. Oh, this is wet? Yes. Okay, I'm sure. Get in there. Guys, respect the area. Come on, hey. Respect the area. Respect the area. Come on. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> by far, my parents. By far, my parents. Because uh, we're. I'm from Georgia, so they relocated into Florida just to do, just to help me pursue my dream 
and it took a lot from them. They walked away, my dad walked away from his business, my mom walked away from her family, which she loves and enjoys. And I kind of took that to heart. I don't really show it much, but they're, the, they're what motivate me the most. When I'm feeling down, I just think about the sacrifices that they do for me to pursue what I love to do. So they drive me the most. That's so cool. <laughs> 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 Pretty cool metal stand. <laughs> Um, figuring out. Can we get one more? You're gonna get a turn to the table here until it's your turn. I'm figuring it out. How about Fabian holds the gold and then? He's looking at you, so he's got eyes open to you, but eyes are closed. Uh -oh. Eyes are closed to me. Because <laughs> I'm down low. I'm up higher. Great. Thank you.